Hello, today we are going to be creating this summer sunset. We're going to be using a Sprite software, a 160 by 220 pixel canvas, and this palette I've created. The link to the palette is in the description. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by making a new canvas of 160 by 220 pixels. This one's taller than it is wide. And we're going to load in our palette, the summer sunset palette. We can get rid of this transparent one here. And we're gonna start by naming our first layer here, sky. And we're going to begin with our brightest two colors here. We're going to select the dark orange and the, the medium orange, the peach color here. And we're going to go to our gradient tool and select by our matrix eight by eight. We can hold shift to make sure that, um, that it gets locked to a specific angle or direction makes it easier to make a straight up uh, gradient. Okay, that's good there. We'll go to the next two colors. We're not doing much here. I actually want to start this one down here a little bit. Not too much of the peachy color. We're going to keep going here. Just going darker as we go up. Until we get to the darkest bit at the very top. We'll leave a good portion of that up there. Okay, this will be a good placeholder for our sky. Next, we are going to add our silhouette. So this is going to be our, um, our horizon line. We're going to do all of this in this single darkest color here. So to begin with, using a brush size of one pixel here, just kind of near the bottom of our gradient. I'm going to just fill that in. You can think of this as the horizon line here. And then we're just going to start building in the features of our horizon. So we've got a pretty tall tree over here. We'll make its uh, trunk first. It'll get a little wider as it goes down. And then I like to just kind of go back and forth here. To rough out some branches for the tree. Let's take a look at our preview window here. Okay, that's a fine tree. That one's a little closer to us. Next, we've got some trees that are a bit further in the distance. Maybe they're only that tall here. Yeah, that'll be a good distance tree shape. And we can select that, do control B and we can just make a few of these here. Make it seem like there's a line of trees kind of going off into the distance. Now that we've got our general shapes in there, we can come in and make them a little bit different from one another. Okay. Next, maybe there's a little 
shop or barn on the horizon here. It's quite a ways off in the distance. So we'll just do something like that. We'll fill that in, but there's also some trees near it. There we go. Maybe a couple more trees over this way. Maybe one way off to the side here, a little closer. Zoom out in our preview a little here, or at least fit our preview window to the size of our drawing. Okay, good. And then we've got maybe a little tractor over here. Here's maybe a, a back wheel cab of the tractor here. And the front of the tractor. I think it sticks out a little more than that. Yeah, maybe right there. Got the back sticking out a little bit. And we can take a little bit of our, maybe this third darkest. Oops. And we'll just draw in some windows here. Maybe like that. Okay, we've got our tractor, and now for the main portion of our uh, composition here, we're going to make some grain elevators. These will be pretty tall. So we'll rough out one side here, and we'll just copy this paste it, and flip it horizontally. Then we can fill that in. Maybe we'll move it over towards our tractor a little bit. Uh, maybe it's a little too wide. I'm going to cut about um, four pixels off each side. There we go. That looks a little more proportionate. Oops. I moved too much here. Let's fill in the ground we dug out. Okay, now let's move this over here a little bit. And we'll copy and paste this. We'll make a second one that is just a little bit behind it and off to the side. But it looks shorter, but it's really the same height as this one. Off to the side over here, we've got a, oops, a spout for loading trucks. the side here we've got the elevator that actually takes the grain all the way to the top. So 
So it's got kind of two beefier posts that the grain kind of goes up at the top. It's got this kind of um, rounded structure. Something like that. Might have something on the top here. Something off the side. A lot of time they hang communications antennas off of these. Just add in some details. There's probably a light at the top here. Okay, and then we will add in some of the support structure here. Kind of holding this thing aloft. I'm just kind of making this part up as we go. There's lots of reference images out there. This can also be used to um, to fill trucks. So there's a spout that comes down here. some evenly spaced support structure. Okay. And then we've got some maybe beefier support structure on the inside here. For this, I'm going to do some copy paste. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to grab the negative space above and this support here. So that way we can easily measure using our outline here. supports here and we'll do back and forth that seems more typical of what you might see there we go I think that's a pretty good silhouette there. Now let's let's work on our sky a little more now. Oops, let's hide the silhouette. So I'm going to mess up our gradient here by selecting our dark orange color and doing the spray brush. I'm just kind of spraying in some color here and we'll just do that as we go up here. It feels like this gives us a more natural transition. Less uniform. So come in here and make some strokes angled in here. I think that helps add some drama. Nothing too major though. But 
you can play with it. Okay. And then we might add some stars up top. So we'll do a new layer. We'll just call this stars. And let's start by peppering in some stars using our spray brush of the second darkest color here. And then maybe a few a bit brighter. And then maybe just a couple with this brighter color here. We're almost done here. Let's cut to the final piece. Thank you for watching.